No, no, I don't, I don't think it's gonna work out. Somebody, uh, reminded me of another commitment. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. Okay, take care, Keith. Bye-bye. Happy now? Yeah, real happy. Are you? Oh, I'll live. Hello? Jog house. Brian? Can you talk louder? No problem. I found Harold. Ah, way to go, buddy! Hey, don't get carried away, huh? You don't want who's it's to hear you. Who's it? Took a powder. Where'd she go? Beats me. I went up to a room to check on her. Nada. Some nap, huh? Oh, just keep your guard up. It's a big house. Yeah, I will. How is Harold? Oh, he was down in the dumps, but he perked up as soon as he saw me. Oh, what a little doggy. Any trouble adopting him? Nah. No, I guess I just look like the perfect papa. Will you bring him right home, honey? Uh-uh. No, that's too obvious. So I'm gonna set him loose near the boathouse, let him work his way back up to Timmy. Oh, yeah, good idea. You know, make it look real. Yeah, and while Timmy's jumping around with Harold, we keep an eye on, on dear, old, dear old mom. Dear old mom's gonna have a canary. Yeah, well, I just hope Trevor's around to see it. <laughs> oh, wait, I gotta go. Somebody's coming. Okay, see you soon. You went out? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were taking a nap. Well, I, uh... I couldn't sleep. Where'd you go? Visiting? Oh, well, yeah, who'd you visit? You know, Haley, I'm the adult and you're the teenager. I do the supervising, not you. Can I help it if I'm curious? What's it, a big secret or something? <laughs> no, I mean, if you must know, I went to see Donna. Donna? Why'd you go to see Donna? She was just here. Because I felt like it. Is that all right? Sure. Huh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Anybody care for some more uh, grappa? Oh, I haven't oh, even finished no this thanks. one. You don't need to finish it. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like it, it is it's, uh, an acquired taste. Oh, I like it. I just, I'm a slow drinker. How about uh, some more of uh, these teensy weensies, huh? Oh, boy, if I have any more food, boy, they're going to have to call an ambulance to take me home. That or a moving van. Hey, watch yourself now. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was so delicious. It must be wonderful to have a cook. I enjoy it, yeah. Hey, Mimi, what do you what do you say we um what do you say we go walk off dinner, you know? I can give you a tour of the Dillon Gardens. <laughs> you know, I mean they're they're pretty famous around these parts. I think that's an excellent idea. So many things are in bloom and you can show uh, what is your name? Mimi. Mimi, sorry. The, the orchard and the You, you know, don't have to rush off if you don't want to. No problem, Trevor. No, no. I've been, I've been looking forward to this tour. What is this? The boys' locker room? No, no. That's, that's later. Uh, enjoy yourself, kids. Sure, sure. Uh, thank you, thank you again for having us. It was a pleasure. We'll have to reciprocate sometime. Any time. Just give me some notice. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You mind telling me what the hell is wrong with well, you? Well, the next time you drag guests home, could you please let me know? Give me some warning. You act like I just brought these people in off the street. They're my friends. Mimi and Derek are my friends. Oh, well, in that case, why don't we just give them a key? Now I'm supposed to 
ask permission to invite my friends to my own house? Well, what do you want? They came, they ate. I was hospitable. Hospitable? You were barely polite. What well, did it ever occur to you that I might be tired? What for? You didn't have to cook, you didn't have to serve. All you had to be was, was pleasant. I was pleasant. You haven't been pleasant for weeks. I have been sick. I am tired. And, and I'm exhausted. All right, fine. Don't let me keep you. Go get some rest. Why don't you come with me? No, thanks. waiting for total recovery. I want you out of this funk ASAP. Trevor. Yeah? You know, maybe I have been irritable lately, but I am not the only one. You haven't exactly been pleasant yourself the last few weeks. like this better than staring into Keith's face? Oh, Derek. Well, do you or don't you? If you're asking whether I'm glad to be here, I am. Good. Besides, staring into Keith's face was not the plan. Mimi, what was the plan? Being seen with Keith, causing Bradley to think I was involved with a civilian. Yeah, well, what was a civilian going to be thinking? That he was having dinner with an old friend. An old girl friend. Mimi, look, you might as well know this. I'm the jealous type. <laughs> oh, you hide it so well. You think this is corny? Try primitive. Okay, primitive. All right, fine. I'm just a basic, primitive kind of guy. I'm proud of it, huh? <sighs> look, I'm just trying to be straight with you. I mean, if Keith ever showed his face around the station, I might act a fool. Now, what level of fool are we talking about here? I don't know, so it's best not to test it. All I'm saying is that, shoot, he better not just show up. <laughs> oh, great, Derek. That would do wonders for our job security. Hi, Haley. Hi. I hope I'm not disturbing anybody. No, everybody's still up. I need to see your uncle. Is he around? Uh, I think he went outside. He might be taking a walk. Why don't you try the garden? Thanks. Mm hmm Hey, Lieutenant. Hey, Brian, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. Harold lit up like a Christmas tree the minute we hit the front gate. Where is he? He's bouncing around outside the gatehouse, sniffing familiar turf. Won't be long now. Great, great. I say we go for a double whammy. <laughs> how? Well, I've been racking my brain, you know, trying to uh, zoom in on little things that Nat was hip to and Janet's not. I got a real doozy. What? St. Tristan, the kidnapped specialist Sheldon and DeWitt. You mean like what they did and what they said? Who they are. Janet never covered that territory. <laughs> I think you're on to something, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, I, I figured I'd start talking about it real casual like. And then I'd drop in a little factoid from the fiction zone. And if she doesn't pick up on it, you got her nailed. Right, Lefty. <laughs> All right. When are you going to whip it out on her? What's wrong with right now? <laughs>